We're back. We're back. Don't worry about the water pump. She's 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 vibing down there. I got water in here. What's going on? I'm Carl. I make decent content. This is Samantha, and she's been a pain in my ass. So somebody actually recently commented on one of the videos and said, hey, is there any updates? I don't really use social media. I've been lazy as shit, I gotta be honest. Started a new job, so getting used to a, work, a different work schedule has been uh, pretty interesting. But in the meantime, I have been working. So Lexi out here, she, she's got some stuff, right? So I adjusted the height on the passenger side to match the driver side. So that's good now. Now back here, when you drive the car, it's got a lot of fishtail and that's just due to the fact that it has a lot of toe out. So I have to fix that. Really, I just need an alignment. So uh, I need to do that, I've been lazy. But we're not talking about Lexi today, we're talking about Samantha. My goal is to really just let this car run. My goal is to just let the car run for as long as possible. And yeah, my laptop's in Charlie's car, so I'm hoping he brings it very, very soon because he leaves for Puerto Rico tonight and I need it for this. But what I recently did is I went through, placed any uh, vacuum cap, like that one down there, around the car to negate any issues with leaks. I'm working on relocating the water pump, which I'm gonna have to drain the system and refill it again, but it's neither here nor there. So I'm working on relocating the water pump. I'm definitely gonna have to make new lines for it. It is what it is. I also got, got a check valve for my brakes and I got this uh, jumper harness for my head unit. Now, if you guys don't know or don't remember, I did the 2020 head unit swap. So it gives me Apple CarPlay, it's a cleaner look. I just really like it and it has physical buttons for the volume up and down. My last one did, but I didn't really like those. I like this one, it's super clean. And Apple CarPlay, so that was a big thing. I thought this vacuum line that I had would uh, work, but it is, uh, it's too small or this is this is too big it doesn't fit in the hole that's what she said so I'm gonna look to see if I have any other ones if not it's not killing me um, I'll do the amp see if I can find the extra hose I feel like I should have some hose so yeah we'll see what happens but uh yeah I really need that light. okay so I don't know if a lot of you guys know a while ago, I thought it would be a sick idea to put hardwood in the trunk of my car. Not like I have a bag set up or anything that goes back here. I just thought it'd be cool. And I don't know. I feel like it might almost be better to remove it. There's no real use for it for me in the sense. I'm not putting anything back there. No one ever sees my trunk. I think it may be time to uh, let the hardwood go. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. Because the ant's back there. And I don't really feel like having to, if I ever have to get back here again, removing all this or something like that. So I think we're saying bye to the hardwood today. That's where the amp is. This is the little jumper harness piece. And we're just going to take this, plug it into this, and then go up front and test it. And everything else should be good. There is a fuse that you're supposed to pull. And I'm pretty sure I've already pulled it. So let's get some working speakers. OK, a lot of good things here today. Don't worry about that. That's a project with Hunter. We're making a box for a 3D printer. But, so, was able to cycle the water pump. It's not acting the way it was before, so that's very good. Fans work. And then if we come inside, don't mind the laptop. Turn everything on. We come over here phone in, that. All the speakers are working, so that's amazing. I have to get vacuum hose from Norm so that I can run the line for the check valve to the brakes, and then I'll bleed the clutch and stuff like that tomorrow. And then tomorrow, I think I'm just gonna let it run for you know about an hour, hour and a half, 
and just let it do its thing. And I'll just monitor it tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll be allowed to just uh, sit in. So. All right, and we are back with Samantha. She's right here, she's good. She's vibing. I'm a little hungover, but that's okay. So today, I'm just gonna let it idle and get up the temp and do its thing. And I'll periodically check on it and uh, we'll just see what happens. So everything's going well. It's just like I have these like little issues. I think on my water pump, the line's not tight. It's tight, but it's, I don't know. I think it's still leaking out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I need to find a way to mount this water pump anyway. So as much as I hate to do it, I'm gonna have to drain the system again and find a place to mount the water pump. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, I just wanted to let it cool off because it's extremely, it was hot, it was like 150 degrees. Then I have my rear seat out, and right now, back here, I have the my relays for my water, I mean, my, my water pumps, my fuel pumps back here. I need to figure out a way to be able to get the seat to sit down flat, so I'm just gonna take out some of this cushion uh, where the, uh, the relays sit, so that I can then uh, put the seat in and then the relays will have a spot to breathe under the seat basically not breathe but no one's going to sit back here anyway but i just don't want them to be pressed on so i'm going to cut out some holes in the bottom of this seat and for my fuel pumps and then uh <clears throat> by the time i do this i'll be able to uh drain the system disconnect the water pump entirely and find a new place for it and Hopefully it's a place where I don't have to make new lines, but I'm already thinking I'm gonna to have to make new lines. I've already got the hose, I just need to get fittings. So okay. yeah. so pretty sick development here. Remember the water pump was over there, then it was hanging down here, and now I have it mounted up down here. Wires ran to it, it's good. It's in a really good spot. I'm gonna to have to make new lines for the one coming out of the radiator and to the water pump. It's gonna be a very short line, as you can see. Literally, like no line at all, honestly. It's basically fitting to fitting. And then this one, I will have a, I'll, re I'll remake it, and it'll be a 180 or 150 to this line, and it'll come up here. Ooh, that is sick. Don't know why I didn't notice that earlier. Okay, so this clip is on my phone, but I wanted to show you guys. So I got a new line. Or not a new line, I just remade this one. So before it was coming down to over here, but and then I had it hanging. So what I did is I had it coming down go under the car. <clears throat> we can see that the water pump now, we've got this line coming straight out of the radiator, drops down into the water pump, comes out and goes up. So I think that'll be a lot better um, I'm getting ready to uh, fill the system up. I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on this one, this one, and this one. Tighten them down, and then, yeah. I have to remount the water pump because I don't have nut certs, so I gotta get nut certs and a nut cert tool to get the water pump mounted in there. But this works out pretty well. The only thing, only thing that I'm worried about is how low this loop sits under um, it's something that I'll have to keep in mind unless vibrant makes like a tight radius or something like that I don't know I didn't want too many fittings because I could have a 90 to a straight but no I'd have to have a 90 
and then another 90. Like a tight radius 90 that would come down to another 90 that would just go straight up. Um, but I don't know, I'll look into it, but for now, this will work. It's something that I'll keep in mind, it's not that the car's getting driven like right now, so yeah. Yeah, we're, we're making progress, making progress. I'm hoping that I can have the car driving like this week. So stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.